Welcome back everyone. In this session, we shall examine a few radiation equations. At the end of this session, you should be able to apply some very important radiation equations that are relevant to the CIH exam and general safety. We are going to examine the first four equations that you find in the CIH equation sheet. So we are going to examine the intensity equation, the run gun equivalent man equation, the exposure rate, and the activity equation. Let us examine the first equation, the equation for radioactivity. The activity or radioactivity is a property of radioactive material with unstable nuclei. These materials emit radiation in the form of particles or energy. Types of radiation include alpha radiation, beta radiation, and gamma radiation. You also have radiation types such as Bremsstrahlung radiation. Now the units of measurement for radioactivity include the Becquerel and Curry. Now let us examine this equation. The A in the equation is for activity. AI is the initial activity, T is the time, and T half is the half-life. Now the half-life in really simple terms is the time it takes for radioactivity to fall by half of the original value. So let us now apply this equation. If the current radioactivity measured from a source of iodine-131 in the laboratory is 2 Becquerel, what will be the measured radioactivity in 20 days? Now, given that iodine-131 has a half-life of 8 days, and the initial activity is 2 Becquerel, and the time is 20 days, and the half-life is 8 days, all we now have to do is input these values into the equation, and we are going to get an answer of 0.35 Becquerel. Now let us look at the inverse square law. It's a very simple law. The law simply states that the intensity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. We can apply this law to the radioactivity from before. So if the radioactivity measured at a distance of 2 feet from a source of iodine-131 in a laboratory is 2 Becquerel, what is the radioactivity at 4 feet? All we need to do is simply put the values in the right place and we are going to get our answer. So D1 in this case is 2 feet, D2 is 4 feet, and I1 is 2 Becquerel. When we put in these values, we are going to get an answer of 0.5 Becquerel. Now this equation is the equation for exposure rate in Röntgen per hour. So D is the exposure rate in Röntgen per hour, gamma is the specific gamma ray constant, a is the activity measured in millicuries and D is a distance. This formula is used to calculate the exposure rate for gamma emitters. Now applying this formula is simply a matter of using the correct values in the correct location and ensuring that you are using the correct units. Now given that we have a source of radium 226 and the specific gamma ray constant is 8.25 Röntgen centimeters squared per millicurry hour, the activity is 2 millicuries and the distance is 20 centimeters. Putting in these values will give us an exposure rate in Röntgen per hour of 0.04. Now the last equation we are going to examine is the Röntgen equivalent man. Now the Röntgen equivalent man is a measure of the biological effectiveness of radiation in humans. This combines the amount of energy from ionizing radiation deposited in human tissue along with the medical effects of the given type of radiation. This formula utilizes the RAD, or the radiation absorbed dose. This is the actual energy absorbed by the local tissue. So the Röntgen equivalent man is equal to the RAD multiplied by QF or the quality factor. The quality factor is dependent on the type of radiation, as you will see in the next slide. The quality factor for alpha radiation is 20 and the quality factor for beta and gamma radiation is 1. So simply calculating the REM would include multiplying the RAD by the QF depending on the type of radiation that you are dealing with. Now the REM is a very antiquated term. The more modern or common term would be the sievert. Similarly, the gray is the more modern or common term used to express the radiation absorbed dose. Thank you guys, see you in the next session.